In this example, we're going to set up an American field sporting event. So we'll start here by creating an event. We're going to call it AFS. And we're going to do um, all colors. We'll say this is a 100 target event. You're going to select the event type of AFS. Your reporting type is going to be standard for anything that is registered. Uh, this would be marked as a main event or an added event. Targets only refers, again, to uh, a target setter registering targets, but they're not eligible for any punches or points, and this is not a pump or side-by-side -side event. This one will mark as a main event because we're going to do all four colors. If you had a gauge-specific AFS, like if you had a 20-gauge AFS, you would mark it as that. Otherwise, all your AFS events are going to be marked as 12-gauge. You would add any of your state target fees if you had the, a state association there. So entry fee for this event, we're going to say is 150 bucks. We're not going to worry about the early admission or any minimum deposits. We'll go to courses and stations. And the first course will be our red course. So I'm going to name it the red. All AFS fields are 25 targets. And we're going to allow for 35 minutes on this field. In Score Chaser, you're going to have the option to choose between the AFS field type. So we'll select red for this one. And that's going to automatically generate the number of stations that you would need for that field color uh, to generate the station menus. You'll notice that the first 24 targets, you're going to score and enter the scores out of 24. And then the second one is going to be the expert, which is up to a point value of two. While the event is 25 targets, Score Chaser will allow you to enter a score of 26 for any one of these fields. So we'll add another course here. This one will be the white course, 25 targets again, a duration of 30 minutes, 35 minutes, and we'll mark this as a white course. And you'll see that it jumped down to three stations because that is the format for that event. If you had any specialty targets or wanted to build out the menus, you could certainly do that with our pro club membership. We'll add a third course here that is the blue course, 35 minutes with a type of blue. There's four stations there. Um, most of the time, the expert is incorporated into one of the stations. The only one that is different is the red, where the expert is presented by itself. So you'll notice that on the station, you can choose expert as a presentation type. Um, and if it was a specialty target, you could certainly add that. We'll do one more here. That is the green course with 35 minutes again, and we'll select AFS green. That is a five station course where the export expert is shot on the third station. You don't have to apply any rules for AFS events. Uh, they have very specific rules about how to break ties. So Score Chaser is equipped to handle that uh, based on their current rules. From there, you would just continue on to rotations and times where you would build it out. All the squad sizes are going to be five. We'll say maybe we have two rotations um, on this one day event. Um, across the four fields, you can accommodate five shooters at any time. So we have a total of 20 slots for each rotation time. And maybe this one is going to start at 9 o'clock a.m. on Saturday. And this one's going to start at 1 o'clock p.m. on Saturday. So the next time for the white course would be 9.35, 1.35 p.m. Saturday. 35 more minutes is going to put you at 10, 10 a.m. on Saturday and 2.10 p.m. on Saturday, and then 10.45 a.m. on Saturday, and 2.45 p.m. on Saturday. So every 35 minutes, you're starting that next course. We also want to be able to start squads on each one of the colors to accommodate those 20 slots. You could also set it up similar to a five stand where you have many more rotations, and you have a squad starting on, um, on the red course every time, so at 9, and then 9.35, and then 1010 and 1045, so on. You set up your awards as usual. If you want to have a high overall or a class first, maybe you have concurrent first, so you go through and mark those trophies and whatever you want to shoot off for, you just check the box for shoot off. Options you can build out as standard. We're going to look at a more complete setup for an AFS event here. So this is a red, white, and blue main that consists of 225 targets. 
If we look at the courses and stations, you'll see that we have red set up here, selected as an AFS red. You can see that you have the option to choose a one-shot single or a two-shot single based on the AFS rules and can build out accordingly. Here the expert is on its own station, station five. On the white course, the expert gets incorporated into uh, the third station. And then on a blue course, the expert is also included in the third station. We'll save that. And to look at an example of the menu, uh, Score Chaser is going to generate a menu that corresponds with the AFS course color, the red logo. We'll show you the one shot singles, two shot singles. If there was any specialty targets, you could also still indicate those. We switch to their white course logo for that menu so you understand that it is a white menu. Uh, same thing for the blue and same thing for the green. So we're in line with the AFS brand there. Also, your score sheets are going to rotate as the AFS rules dictate. So for the red course, your first shooter is going to rotate one spot backwards to the fifth starting position. You'll see that on their second field. And then Jake here at the top would rotate to the fifth for their third field. When you go to the white course, your first shooter is going to rotate three times. And again, three times. So she was at the third, so now Amber goes one, two, and three to the fifth shooting position. So Score Chaser is able to handle the different rotation schemes based on each of the color courses. And you'll also notice on our scorecards uh, that we leave room for your expert to, recorded, to be recorded separately so that those can be recorded into the Score Chaser system um, as a separate score so that tiebreaker procedures can apply. So when you go to enter scores, we'll look at the first shooter. Let's say it's myself. You'll see that I have a score of 21 there, and then I only got a one on the expert, so I shot it on the second barrel there. On the second field, shot a 24 and broke the expert on the first shot, so I got two points there, you know, in my dreams. But you just record the score separately there, and then Score Chaser takes care of the tiebreakers. If you have any questions about AFS rules, please check out their website. It's at AmericanFieldSporting.com. They have a great um, toolkit on their website where you can print out your own score sheets and menus and a cheat sheet to um, get started quickly. Also help with your ambassadors or your referees and top 12 rules to help shooters get started.